Uh, so this is the African Motives Media. We are here once again. This is the episode 5 of Youth Speak. And uh, today we are joined by the majority leader in uh, Jomo Kenyatta University uh, Students Association. And uh, I want him to introduce himself at Wambie Yeye Ninani in details. Okay, I'm um, Akukweri Kokot, famously known as Jatelo, the school representative, School of Communication and Development Studies. Mm -hmm. So uh, people may be asking out there, uh, who is Eric Jatelo? Who is this uh, school representative? Uh, Eric Jatelo is a harmless Kenyan, a humble guy, yes, and a fun-loving individual. Yeah. Very interesting, very interesting. Tunendelea vizuri tena sana. So guys, today we want to get uh, uh, we want to get much from him. We want to know uh, what he does, what he likes, and what he dislikes. Also, uh, Eric Jatelo. So, why politics? Not any other thing. Why politics? So basically, I think like politics is everything. Even in business, we have politics. So I think that taking keen interest in politics. Mm -hmm will help impact other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think politics is just in the structure of governance. Mm -hmm. For the governance, mm -hmm. they set the rules that even this business is run. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Maybe uh, you are the, the school representative, school of communication, and in Jay Kusa, you've been in uh, office for eight months now. Just to ask you, what have you achieved in the eight months? So basically, when I was campaigning for this position, mm -hmm. I think I had, in my manifesto, I had the big four. The first was to do the issue of uh, transcript and results in the portal. Mm -hmm. We had the issue of media, the issue of TV. We had the issue of uh, co-curriculum activity and uh, proper representation in the Congress. Mm -hmm. I can say that as per now, I've already achieved uh, two of them, mm -hmm. the issue of results and the transcript. You can ask the people from my school. I think they are getting their results on time. Mm -hmm. they, they can access their results in their portal. I think that one is a big achievement. Yes, for the represent representation in the Congress, I think I've done this mm -hmm. by supporting several motions that impact my students and also to do the issue of bursary. I think for my time that I've been serving, my school has been getting a very good number of slots when it comes to the JQ Sabasari, and I think that's another fight. Mm -hmm. And for the third thing, uh, to issue the co curriculum, and this one I included the issue of the fun day. Mm -hmm. And for my members from my school, mm -hmm. I think this coming month on date 24, mm -hmm. we'll be having a co red fun day. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think that will be the third one. The one that I can say that has given me headache is the issue with the studio. Mm -hmm. But this one we have to bring in the the administration. Mm -hmm. And I've tried following up and every time I go they always tell me that I don't know, we don't have a frequency, don't it is expensive running a community radio. Those are the challenges. But for the three I think I've achieved. Yes, and we are still going to do more for them. Uh, interesting, interesting. You've heard it right from uh, the school representative what he has achieved in those uh, eight months and maybe just to ask you there is this controversial topic that is trending in Jomo Kenyatta the issue of uh, constitution amendment and uh, the extension of regime just to frame the question this way it has been rumored that you and your regime are planning to extend your term in office what do you have to say about the issue yeah about I think where there is smoke there is fire mm -hmm. So for I can't say directly that me and my regime want to extend the, the our term in office, but I can say that yeah, there are rumors, there are rumors that some people in our union mm -hmm. want to extend mm -hmm. their time. I think their rumors might be true or they must, might be false. Mm -hmm. But as per now we can just leave them as rumors. But mm -hmm. what I can uh, promise the people outside there, mm -hmm. on my side personally I'm doing the best to ensure that by February, mm -hmm. we are exiting office. Mm -hmm. That's the best that I can say. For my constituents from the School of Communication, mm -hmm. I'm very ready to leave because I now have done my part and a good dancer must know when to leave the stage. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they should do the constitutional amendment. I think we all support the constitutional amendment. What we disagree with is the process mm -hmm. yeah, leading to this amendment. I think the first thing that we could have done as a union was supposed to do a memo to the entire 
students because they are our bosses and tell them we have some loopholes in our constitution and we would like you to collect some signatures to support the idea of the amendment. Mm -hmm. But I think that one never happened. What we just saw was a memo requesting people to apply for, I don't know, the committee of experts. And I think that, that one was very wrong. That mm -hmm. one was very wrong. Mm -hmm. So for the amendment, we support them. If the people pushing for the amendment have the interest of the comrades at heart, mm -hmm. I think what they should do is that they should make the process open. And for a constitutional re amendment, it's mm -hmm. something that should have some time. Mm -hmm. And for the period that we have, I think we have like three months mm -hmm. to get out of office. That one will be a very short time, keeping in mind that by December, the period between December, the beginning of December and the end of December, we'll be having the examination. Mm -hmm. And I doubt if the students will be ready to focus on this thing. So if we really want the amendment, let's push the amendment to the next regime. Mm -hmm. Let them enter office and tackle the issue of the loopholes that we have in this constitution. Mm -hmm. Because you know, even the, the American, all the constitutions always have, a ch always have loopholes. Mm -hmm. And I think the constitution should be rigid, say that we should, you should not just wake up one morning and say that we want to change this thing. Mm -hmm. It should never happen that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting, interesting. You are a school representative and your work is to keep uh, the government in check. Uh, maybe as per your views or uh, just to give us an highlight, how do you rate the performance of uh, the executives in JQuat? One, the entire executives or yes, per office. Per, for, you can go individually so that we know who is working and who is not working. Yeah, I think I'll not keep the order, but I'll just state what what most of them have achieved because mm -hmm. this is a, like now a personal opinion. Mm -hmm. For me, so far so good, you can say that the person who has done that much impact, you can say that the academic secretary, mm -hmm. he has done and whatever he has done can be seen. Mm -hmm. Another person, we have the Secretary General through the CC mm -hmm. through the PAD drive, mm -hmm. and we recently had a, an orientation that was mm -hmm. successful. Mm -hmm. We have the Sports and Entertainment Secretary. You can have the, we can see that the games are going on, the, the JCL mm -hmm. is on. Mm -hmm. We have the fields that are being repaired, like the basketball court are in program to be repaired. I think they are doing, they are doing much, much, much good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think for the three and also the accommodation secretary, we had a, a health drive, I don't know mental health or health drive recently, mm -hmm. and it was good. We have the issue of ensuring protection by giving these people the, con what do you call the contraceptive, the yes, CDs, yes. all those, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 I think that's a good job for, uh -huh. for, the, for them, yeah. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So those are the only executives that I are... think those are the ones who have done well. Uh -huh. Those who are doing well. Okay. Yeah. That's a red card from uh, the, the, the school representative or the majority leader in Jay Kusa and you've had it right from him. Maybe if we ask you, um, apart from politics, beside politics, what other thing do you do? Personally, the other things that I do, and apart from politics, another thing I study, <laughs> I think I'm still a student, <laughs> can say that I study, <laughs> and I have several things in mind. I think I'm a writer, academic writer, I've mm -hmm. done it for a long time, though I've taken some small break, mm -hmm. but I do it, I, yeah, that's something that I do. I can say that's a business mm -hmm. that has kept me going up to this point before politics mm -hmm. and now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. also uh, um, I have inspired aspirations mm -hmm. like to start businesses most most after finishing the campus life because i think i have one year to go mm -hmm. after one year mm -hmm. we'll be outside there struggling mm -hmm. with business then again we come back to politics mm -hmm. because politics is our thing mm -hmm. yeah interesting 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 and moving forward maybe just to ask you uh, what motivates you what has been motivating you in this journey of a student leader because i know there are a lot of challenges what has been keeping you Keeping on. So I think the thing that has mo been motivating me to keep uh, progressing in leadership and serving people, I think that the thing that has been motivating me is like I'm somebody who like to see people win, like mm -hmm. progress. Mm -hmm. I think when I get the little feedback that I get from my constituents, maybe you know we do a lot of things, but when somebody comes to you and tells you, Eric, I think you did this and this, and now mm -hmm. my life is going well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best thing. Also, we, for the school representatives, we interact directly with our students on the issue of results. You, you, 
in university you find that there are very many challenges to do with the results, mm -hmm. the specials, the supplementaries, mm -hmm. and I think I've done my best mm -hmm. to try to reduce this issue so that my students can always enjoy their campus life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the thing that motivates me is seeing the people I represent live a good life. Yeah, live a good life. Yeah. And uh, maybe after school, you'll be completed with your studies. Uh, what are your future aspirations or future ambitions? Okay, I think uh, politics is, is in me. Mm -hmm. I think after finishing my degree, I think I'll join politics, active politics. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been inactive, but I can't say that I have made progress. I think everyone in politics is there is no experience in politics. Mm -hmm. In politics, you keep learning each and every day. So I think that after campus, I'll join politics and maybe in 2032, I plan to vie for the member of parliament for Bondo constituency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's in Sierra County. Mm -hmm. And I believe by then, I'll be mature enough politically to carry the seat on because I believe I'm someone mm -hmm. who is a go-getter. If I go for something, mm -hmm. I clinch it and I believe for my constituents come 2032, mm -hmm. we'll be there mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll vamoose the, the constituency and mm -hmm. seek for your votes and I know mm -hmm. they will trust me with the job. Yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Maybe there is this question, it's a new question in the segment and it was suggested by our fans in the comment section. They said the next guest should mention five things uh, that people have never heard of him. So it's your time. Your turn. Five things. Five I things. Ile watu huko nje wajui unaweza fanya kitu kama yeye. Naweza fanya ama wanadhani nafanyanga na sifanyi. Wanadhani ufanyangi na unafanya. I think that <laughs> that's a very difficult question. Uh-huh. Just now, five. Five things that people do not know about you. People don't know about me. I think you know I'm a Chelsea fan, a diehard. Uh huh. Yeah. We'll come to you know. support Chelsea yeah, of yeah. all the teams. I think teams. Chelsea, we are playing sexy football. The thing that we lack are the results. But I know very soon we'll see the results. Yeah, more so when we meet Manchester. Uh, it's the same yeah, we'll it's see the, the results. Another it. thing, yeah. I love uh, good music. Uh -huh. I'm a fan of rumba music uh -huh. and the famous Ajawa music. Ah, yeah. interesting, interesting. Another thing that I like reading, by the way, uh -huh. I like reading, I read a lot. Uh -huh. Yeah, I do a lot of research, I like reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, two more. What else do I like? Uh -huh. Or what else do people... You don't like girls? Ladies, mm. I think everybody likes ladies, yeah. Uh -huh. Who hates ladies? I think the ladies, we have our sisters who are ladies, so uh -huh. we must like Not them. Not to that dimension. That yeah. one is a must. You must like them. Mm. Or you are provoking me to ask you, Ukosoko, uh, girls outside there in SC. I yes, think I'm, 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 I'm in the market because I believe there is no one <laughs> I've taken to see my mom. I think I'm still in the market and the door is wide open. Yeah. Yeah, the door is wide open. <laughs> I'm still young to okay. make such conclusion. Mm. Yeah. Ah, yeah. And the last thing, uh -huh. I'm honest. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm honest. And I, I, don't have, honest. Yeah, I don't have enemies, by the way. Mm -hmm. And somebody will collide with you, then mm -hmm. after that, we continue. I think that's evident. Okay. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Remember, yeah. we've been having the school representative, SCDS, Eric Jatel, and uh, we are getting more insights from him as we come to the end of the show. Eric, yes. maybe. Um, we want you to advise or talk to the youth who's watching you outside there, maybe a first year. Only the youth oh. or even the people from my The people from, from your my school. From your school, the youth, anyone, even Nanezakoko, Canada, watching you and is, he or she is inspired by, by what you do. So a word of encouragement, or what the can youth. you tell them? So I think basically for the youths out there, what I can tell you, just just believe in you mm -hmm. because for another person to believe in you mm -hmm. you must have believed in yourself so the best thing that little thing that you do each and every day mm -hmm. just believe in it and you will win let's chase the bug mm -hmm. yeah because all that we want mm -hmm. is a successful life so, so for the youth let's avoid shortcuts mm -hmm. Let's just work hard and the success will come. We'll, we want a long-term success. Mm -hmm. Yes, then to my constituents from the School of Communication and Development Studies, I think you're my bosses. Mm -hmm. I love you each and every day. Let's pray that 
God makes me the best leader mm-hmm. that you people have. And uh, for the little challenges that you people go through, I think I always try my best to appear and sort them. Mm-hmm. And I'll not give up mm-hmm. until the day I'll hand over the button to the next person. Mm-hmm. So keep trusting in me mm-hmm. and I'll deliver my mm-hmm. best. And to the entire j mm-hmm. fraternity, mm-hmm. I think that uh, we'll continue serving you. As a union, we've gone through ups and downs, but after all, we are still the union. So the only thing that we can do, just keep trusting the little trust that you have in us. Mm-hmm. Just give us the trust mm-hmm. and we'll try to do our best. And as we exit in February, mm-hmm. we'll pray that you have a union that will keep doing what you people want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you for your time. Mm-hmm. Um, Akuku Eriko Kodjatel. Interesting, yes. interesting. It has been the school representative SCDS Akuku Eric Jatelo. And right now we come to the end of the show. Remember, we turn it on each and every time here at the youth speak, at the youth speak. I've been your host, Papa Graham. Let's meet in the next episode of Youth Speak. Remember, this is the African Motives Media, and the African Motives Media, we got you covered. <laughs>